Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I talk about a various number of subjects. Um, so if you're interested in what I share with you, please like, subscribe, and do all the natural things that you do. Leave comments even if you think what I'm talking about is interesting. I don't always get to the comments, but other people do and other people respond on my behalf. And occasionally I'll go in and have a quick check to make sure there's nobody being disrespectful and nobody saying something that's going to offend another reader. Anyway, today I decided to... Um, well, not that I decided to. Something came into my inbox about cybercrime in Jamaica. And apparently, four million Jamaican dollars, it has got the dollar sign, so I'm assuming it's Jamaican dollars. Four million Jamaican dollars is being lost by cybercrime from Jamaican banks. The headline actually says... Jamaican banks lose 4 million monthly due to cyber theft. That's the headline from jamaicans.com. Now, I'm going to read you a little bit about um, how they came up to that, and then I'll go off and do my own little bit, my own, own little input. So it's saying the 2018 Financial Stability Report, published by the Bank of Jamaicans, found that banks in Jamaica are the victims of an average of about two cyber attacks every week. And in a single month, cyber criminals stole 10 million. Average losses total a little more than 4 million per month. According to David Noel, the president of the Jamaica Business Association and the president and CEO of Scotia Group Jamaica, for the banks impacted, the situation rep represents significant loss and they are making efforts to work with law enforcement authorities to protect their customers' privacy, which is a critical matter. The Bank of Jamaica views the issues as growing problem and is considering new rules to manage the risk. Now, this was written by their staff writer. Um, there's no name there. But yeah, um, I thought cybercrime was just about stealing people's um, ID numbers and personal information. Um, the definition of cybercrime, I'm going to read this out to you, is offences that are committed against individuals or groups of individuals with a criminal motive to intentionally harm the reputation of the victim or cause physical or mental harm to the victim directly or indirectly using modern telecommunication networks such as internet, chat room, emails, notice boards, mobile phones, SMS and like WhatsApp. Um, cyber crime is not just ID theft, it also includes revenge porn. Some people are taking photographs and videos of them having sex and then blackmailing um, the victim or um, out of spite putting it on public media social media that must be terrible it's also bullying unauthorized access and cyber espionage I'm not quite sure what that is anyway for those of you who want to know what four million actually represents four million Jamaican dollars represents in English pound is about 23,500. It's actually 23,545 pounds and 81 pence as of today's rate. Um, yeah, um, what else? There might be, you know, some people think because they've got antivirus, their, their equipment is protected or they can't be subject to cybercrime. Cybercrime can be done in a number of ways. I said in a previous video that any time you're giving out personal information, always make sure that H for hotel, T for Tony, P for Papa, P for Papa, S, S, that S must be there. Semicolon, double slash is in the browser bar with a lock. You have a lot of 
people asking you for personal, especially when you're doing purchases. People don't think about checking the browser bar. They put in their details, they put in their um, their credit card number and the number on the back and they press send when they're buying something and they don't look in the browser bar. Let it be your default action every time you make a purchase or do something online that you have the HTT. I always do that. HTTPS colon in the browser. Not just HTTP. I keep doing that wrong, don't I? HTTPS. The S must be on the end. Anyway. So that is important about securing information. That is one way you can help protect yourself. Antivirus is supposed to work, but because there's so much malware, sometimes it always gets through. So just be careful at that. Um, a, a lot of times we put private information on our phones, personal information, and we forget that it could be subject to cybercrime. Um, cybercrime in Jamaica. Um, cybercrime includes any data storage facility or electronic communication systems directly connected to or operating in conjunction with such device or group of such interconnected relation, related devices. And like I said, that's phones, that's your laptops, um, smartwatches even now. You have to be careful with your smartwatches because they do so much and they follow you all over the place. I heard recently that, you know, they're using Wi-Fi to track people. So many people want to um, get free um, broad broadband or free access to their phones. No matter where they go, they click on to their free Wi-Fi, whether it's on the train, whether it's in a coffee bar, wherever it is. Um, people tend to latch on to free Wi-Fi. And you have to remember also that that is a monitoring device. We can't get away from being monitored, but you can eliminate um, letting everybody know where you are at a particular time. And that's what's scary. You know, you go abroad and they say, oh, welcome to you in France. Welcome to you in Spain. Welcome that now you, that you've arrived in Jamaica. Make sure you connect to the local network. All of that stuff. They know where you're going every five minutes. Um, if you are a victim of cybercrime, always make sure that you report it as soon as possible. Um, Jamaica is actually setting up a web portal for victims to report cybercrime. Um, you can look on that on Google. That will give you all the information because I didn't find that. But um, they were actually setting up in the beginning of April and it was supposed to be in place by the end of April. I believe it is in place now. But it does help. The more quickly you're able to report cybercrime, the more likely, quickly they're able to apprehend whoever's taking your money. Um, cyber thieves, they can only, well, not really, well, they can only thrive on the information you give out. So always be um, scrupulous when you're doing your activities and way, when you're at the, what you call it, when you go to the ATM machine, make sure there's nobody looking around. They tend to stick cameras now up and around. Make sure it looks kind of safe. You know, make sure that when you're putting it in, you don't have to struggle with your card going in. When you're putting in the PIN number, make sure you cover your hand while you're doing it. It's very difficult to put in a PIN number while you're covering your hand, but hopefully by now you know where the digits are on the pad, so you don't really need to look every single time. Um, and you can't get away from corruption. A lot of times when you think about these banks, um, especially in Jamaica or in other countries, well, you can't just say especially in Jamaica, it's all over the world. Everyone's subject, everybody has a price. And people are paying staff for information, for PIN numbers, for all kinds of stuff. So you can't get away from that. We just have to hope that whoever the perpetrator is, they get apprehended as soon as possible. So I wanted to put that out there to you. Um, that only came out like four days ago about the cybercrime in Jamaica. Um, we have so many unscrupulous people 
and we have people who are desperate in a time where there's so much poverty. People are looking for every which way to make money. And the easiest way they can make money is through criminal activity. The sad thing is it's those hardworking people who've saved their money and who are trying to provide a life for themselves and for a, you know, a comfortable future are the ones that are being targeted. So be careful. Try not to have a consistent pattern about what you do, where you go and take your money out, you know, the timing of what you take your money out. Try to kind of shake it up a little bit and do things differently. And that's all I've got to say for now. Bye bye.